When police raided a Bangkok flat, they found nine babies, their nannies, and a surrogate mother four months pregnant. A rich Japanese man says he is the father of all the children through surrogates. The flat's being called a baby factory, and if proven to be true, the case is likely to be even more complicated than that of baby Gammy. Gammy was born with Down syndrome. His mother says an Australian couple paid her to bear their child. In the end, she had twins and accuses the couple of taking Gammy's healthy sister, but rejecting him because of his condition. The couple denies this. Authorities are scrambling to catch up on these revelations and there's intense media scrutiny. When these children are born and there is a problem, the law requires the Government Department of Social Development Work to take care of them. No matter what happens, the children will be protected. These are websites that advertise for surrogate mothers. There's been a boom in surrogate births in Thailand. While there's no law that bans the practice outright, the Medical Council requires surrogate mothers to be relatives and not to profit from the births. Nandanai Intanon helped draft a new law on surrogacy that he says will not prohibit the practice, though it will discourage it. There are a lot of uh, women in Thailand who, uh, you know, are in a position to, to become a surrogate mother. So they need money. So and together with the advancement of the technology, Thailand may be the heaven of the surrogacy. The vast majority of surrogate births are not controversial, but cases like these demonstrate that it's a complicated, painful business. The babies between six months and one year old are being kept at this government orphanage for the time being. Uh, the Child Protection Act here in Thailand prevents us from actually filming them. At this point, no one can say how long they're going to be kept here or where they're going to end up. And this is just the start of the crackdown on surrogacies. There may be more babies put in the same position. There are further worries that babies are being born for human trafficking and medical treatments, adding to the sense of urgency to tighten regulations. Veronica Pedroza, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.